Your Excellency, Mr. President, Excellency Ambassadors, Honorable Minister of Communication, Madam Ambassador of Ghana to France, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mawena Treba. I am the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center. It's my distinct privilege to have the opportunity to share with you and give you some context some of the exciting opportunities for investing in Ghana. What you just saw was a video testimonial of various French companies with Ghanaian interests who have been successful in investing. We're very excited about the opportunity to tell you about the context and the framework within which you can potentially pursue investment opportunities. Your Excellency, permit me to be brief. I'm just going to talk about the legal and regulatory environment and hopefully as the opportunity progresses and we get to interact later on, I've brought two packets of business cards. I'm sure I can give one to everyone in this room. If you're interested in an investment opportunity, especially for my brothers and sisters who live and work here in France, we're excited to tell you about how things are evolving and changing for the better and why you must think Ghana and make it happen. The GIPC recently repealed its legislation. We now operate under Act 865 of 2013. And under that regime, there are a number of incentives and guarantees that are made available to people in the business community, both Ghanaian and non-Ghanaian. It doesn't matter what sector it is, you are more than welcome and entitled to that opportunity. The only thing I always say is, please contact the Ghana Investment Promotion Center First and foremost, we are here to provide you with services, whether it is information about a particular sector, whether it is facilitating interactions with regulators, whether it is looking at specific opportunities and the steps you have to take to invest in any one sector. This is what we have been mandated by law to provide to each and every one of you. And so just giving you some context, um, in our regime, we do have certain exemptions on customs duties, uh, corporate taxes, uh, lo locational incentives, especially when it comes to those who are interested in agriculture and agro-processing. Uh, there are a number of different tax holidays that are also available. Our legislation also provisions for certain immigrant quotas for those companies that are bringing in expatriates to support their business. Uh, I won't go over all the details because I would like to invite you to visit our website and also visit our stand at the exhibition. Uh, two members of my team plus myself will be there to expand on that information. In addition to that, we also have repatriation of dividends and net profits. Uh, transfer of funds in respect of servicing foreign loans, uh, guarantees against expro expropriation. That is constitutional. It's just never going to happen in our time in Ghana. But I think perhaps more interesting for many of you will be the role of the strategic investing community. Now, every kind of investment is very important, and particularly for those of you, my brothers and sisters, who are thinking about smaller to mid-size uh, investments back at home, uh, that space is one that we will categorize depending on the amount of the investment. So it's not just about money, let me reiterate. It's also about the kinds of jobs that are going to be created, the kind of technology transfer that is going to take place. And so we'd welcome the opportunity to talk to you about that. Let me quickly move on to the steps that are required to invest. First and foremost, you need to be compliant with our company's code, and so you'll have to register with the Registrar General, whether it is a joint venture company, whether it is wholly foreign owned, uh, whatever the form or shape of that partnership, it does have to be registered with the Registrar General's office. Again, this is something that we as GIPC can support you uh, to execute and facilitate. There are minimum equity contributions depending on the particular sector. Again, we can acquaint you with what those are specific to your area of interest. Um, my favorite step is the third step, register with the Ghana Investment Promotion Center. Only because we want to be able to make sure that we can track and support your progress uh, as you pursue your investment interests. Let me end my submissions by encouraging each and every one of you as you think about the different opportunities 
as you reconsider and assess opportunities for partnership, do think Ghana and make it happen. Thank you.